everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be discussing the first medical issue that I really ever encountered with my guinea pigs. So I've had my guinea pigs for about five or six months since last September and since then I have not really um, dealt with very many medical issues. I try to do weekly or bi-weekly health checks just to make sure everything's right. I monitor how much they're eating, how much they're drinking. I've really learned their behavior super, 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 <laughs> super, super well. So I know if they're not being as active as usual or anything like that. The only thing prior to this that I experienced was that one of my guinea pigs, Marshmallow, had like a very wet stomach and I was worried that she had uh, maybe a UTI or some sort of bladder issue. But then I figured out that basically it was just the fact that my fleece was not wicking properly, so she was just sitting in her own pee. So luckily that was not anything extreme. So when I found Peanut about a week and a half ago um, last Sunday, I found her in the morning and she had a very like swollen, irritated, and like squinty eye. So when I, found her th when I found her that morning, her eye was like severely squinted, like she could barely keep it open. Um, looks, it looked pretty bad and it was a Sunday, so unfortunately there was no exotic vet that was open. I have not taken my guinea pigs to the vet yet, but I did know that there was an exotic vet nearby me around like 30 to 40 minutes away, but unfortunately they were closed and on their website, they recommended an exotic emergency vet that was open. So I called that vet quite a few times trying to figure out if the issue was serious enough to need to come in that day or if I could wait until Monday um, since it was Sunday. But uh, I had a pretty busy week full of work and like school and like classes and I really did not have the time to take her in any other day except Sunday. So I went ahead and I made my way to the emergency vet and the emergency vet told me on the way there that they currently had a dog in surgery and I asked the receptionist like how long is that dog going to be in surgery and they could not tell me they had no idea but I was like it can't be too long like I don't know really how long dog surgery takes but I imagine that like it wasn't like super long so I just went ahead and went since I was already on my way it was about a 30 minute drive I got there called them let them know I was there and they told me that a second dog was now in line for surgery. So they had two dogs in line for surgery and she could not tell me an estimate of how long that would take. Um, she could not tell me like any estimate. And I asked if they could maybe call me back when they were done and she said that as an emergency vet, they're just too busy to have the time to call me back and that I should just call back again later. And at this point I was kind of upset because I'd driven 30, mi 30 minutes with Peanut in the car um, to this exotic emergency vet only to find out they wouldn't be able to take me till hours later which is not entirely their fault they didn't know that they were going to receive a second dog for surgery but I wish like I, they didn't couldn't give me any time estimate on how long the dog surgery would take so at this point I pulled over in a different parking lot and I just started calling so I was calling every regular vet that was open because it was a Sunday um any regular vet that was open and just asking them if they took care of guinea pigs um I think by the time I called the fourth vet they told me that they saw guinea pigs occasionally, but that the vet who typically saw them was not there since it was emergency after hours. Um, but they were able to call her in and get her to see, see Peanut. So at that point, I took Peanut to this vet, which doesn't specialize in exotic animals, but did see them occasionally just because it was the only thing I could find that was open on Sunday. So I took her there, and at this point, I was fairly sure that she had a hay poke and that it, some hay had poked her eye and irritated it. Um, however, me nor the vet never actually pulled any hay from her eye. So it's like not 100% sure it was a hay poke because no hay was ever seen in her eye, but it is possible some hay just pokes her eye. But um, I still don't know, but I'm thinking it was a hay poke because the night prior, so Saturday night, I had heard her make like a little squeal. Um, I thought maybe the two of them were just like bickering, but maybe that was when some hay had poked her eye. But anyway, I get to this, I get to this regular vet. It is Sunday. They take her in. They do this um, eye stain. They put like some sort of stain in her eye. And they find out that there is, speaking of eyes, mine contact is messing up. But anyway, they put a stain in her eye and they figure out that there is some sort of ulcer in her eye. So they give me these eye drops, which I have right here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the eye drops 
that they gave me, and they tell me to give her these every three to four hours and to come back later that week. Um, they said Wednesday or Thursday, but because of my work schedule, I didn't have any availability to drive 30 minutes back to the vet until Friday. So I took Peanut home, I made, an, I scheduled an appointment for Friday, and I tried giving her these drops. So the next morning, Monday morning, I woke up to give her these drops, and I discovered that her eye was now looking like blue and like cloudy. And I posted in a couple of the like guinea pig Facebook groups I'm in, and a lot of people said that this is like a normal healing process when you're healing from a hay poke or an ulcer in the eye that like blueness and like cloudiness is like normal so i wasn't too worried i kept giving her the eye drops and then on thursday i looked and if when i pulled the top of her eye up i could see that there was um like a red like flesh i don't know if flesh is the right word but like a red something protruding and i assume this is the ulcer um I've never seen an eye ulcer before. I don't particularly know what they look like, but I figured it was the ulcer, but my vet appointment was scheduled for the next day for Friday. So I figured I would just wait it out. I didn't have any time Thursday to go unless I went to after hours and going to after hours at the vet is very expensive. So on Sunday when I had gone, it was considered an after hours emergency vet visit. And that plus the medication and the cost of the eye stain cost me $250 just for that trip on Sunday. So I was not about to make another after hours vet visit. I planned to have all my other vet visits scheduled within the hours of that the regular vet practice was open. So on Friday I woke up and then her ulcer in her eye, the red part, you no longer needed to like peel back the eyelid to like see it. It was like just visibly protruding. So I figured it's gotten worse, like very good. My vet appointment was scheduled for today. So time for another vet visit. I Put her in the car she hates the car but put her in the car drove her to the vet and they saw her and they said that i was right like it had gotten worse which makes sense it looked worse and they prescribed me three new medications so at that point that vet visit was 180 dollars for the eye stain the visit and the three medications so what they gave me was they said to continue doing this first drop that i was given on sunday so to give her one drop wait five minutes, give her the second drop, which is just like a lubricating agent for her eye, wait five minutes, and then give her this ointment um, directly into her eye, an eighth of an inch of ointment. Now this is the hardest stuff to apply because you have this little tube, you have to squeeze out this little bit of ointment and then like scrape it or like gently, not scrape it, but like gently put it into her eye without her like blinking and pushing it out. So this is the hardest to apply. So I was supposed to do all three of these, so in this order, all three of these two times a day, and I could do these three times a day. And then they also gave me this pain medication. Um, there's the name right there. I don't think that has actually okay i probably will blur this out i literally i'll put the name on the screen um i literally just showed you like the direct address of the um vet that i went to and i'm not trying to like specifically name the vet that i went to or the doctor who saw peanut um i'm just trying to talk about my experience so i will be blurring that out sorry about that but um so the pain medication was supposed to be done twice a day so I started doing this and her eye started to look better. The ulcer was getting smaller, I think by like Sunday. So Friday I went to the vet by Sunday. Um, it was looking much, much better. Um, you couldn't visibly see the ulcer. It was still only like slightly cloudy. Um, but I did notice that some of the poops, uh, I don't know, if, I'm assuming it was peanuts because marshmallow doesn't have any health issues at this point. So I'm assuming they were peanuts poops. They were a little moist. They were kind of like cut off and like moist at one end. And I know that a lot of times when you're do giving guinea pigs antibiotics, but not probiotics, because I didn't have any probiotics at this point, I considered picking up some Benabac, but the doctor didn't uh, prescribe any to me and I haven't had any experience giving it. So I figured I would just continue with the antibiotics until there was an issue. So at this point I called the vet and I let them know that like some of her stool is looking a little off and the vet advised me to stop the pain medication um, and since then I have not started the pain medication up again. So she only got 
four doses of the pain medication before I stopped it, which isn't a lot, and it was, I had to give it orally, so it was a bit tricky to get her to hold still and, like, let me put a syringe in her mouth because she's never received any sort of medication like that before, but... So at this point, I have stopped the pain medication. I'm just doing the three, the two drops in the ointment. And then my next appointment, my final follow-up appointment was this past Monday. So it is currently Thursday. And the last time I went to the vet was on Monday. And at this point, her eye is looking, I would say, pretty much back to normal. It's still a little bit cloudy. There's maybe some like white protruding flesh up top, which I'm assuming is the ulcer healing. Again, I'm not a vet. I don't really know. Uh, but I w took her back on Monday. Um, a different vet saw her. It was not the same person who saw her last time, which kind of throws me off a bit. I wish it was the same vet seeing her every time I went, especially since it's not um, a vet that specializes in guinea pigs. And I did try to get her into the exotic vet, but they had no openings. And since it wasn't necessarily an emergency and the re regular vet had been handling the problem fairly well, I figured I would just go there for my final checkup and they stained her eye again and they said that this time the stain did not take to her eye. So I've been doing those since then. It is Thursday and I will probably continue doing the drop in the ointment until either Sunday or Monday. They did recommend I continue them for another week. And that vet appointment cost me um, $100. So that is a ton of money that I just spent on Pina. And I am very lucky to have this money saved and to have put this money aside for emergencies like this. So very lucky to have done that. Um, I am hoping that I do not face any like vet issues or health issues in the near future that I cannot treat myself. I suppose I could have tried some sort of over-the-counter ointment for Peanut's eye, but this is my first health issue that I've faced, and I really didn't know the procedures. Um, I've seen some videos on treating hay pokes and such, but I just was not ready to like fully make the decision about the medicines by myself. That felt like kind of a big like take for uh, my first health issue for my guinea pigs. So yeah, I went to the vet and it was a lot of money, but I am glad to hear an opinion um, and get prescribed medicines from someone who at least is a bit of a professional in guinea pigs. Like I said, they weren't uh, exotic vets, but they did have some experience with guinea pigs. So that's good. Um, I'll put a picture right here of what Peanut's eye looks like today. I think it looks pretty much back to normal. Um, I'm continuing to do the drops and all of that so yeah um that was my story about or story that was my experience with my guinea pigs first health issue um very stressful honestly and i'm really hoping that something doesn't happen like that again if it's a hay poke or an eye issue at least i know what to do now i'm lucky there was not an actual piece of hay lodged in her eye so that no one had to remove that i did look multiple times I did not see anything, so I'm assuming her eye was just poked by hay, but again, never can be sure because we never saw any hay. But yeah, um, there was my story about uh, my guinea pig's health issue. Um, hope you all enjoyed or at least found this somewhat informative about what to do if your guinea pigs have health issues. Um, I do recommend that you check out Saskia from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. She has a ton of good videos about dealing with various guinea pig health issues. Um, again, I am not a medical professional. This is all simply my experience. And I do recommend that you consult a professional if you are having any issues with your guinea pigs. Um, health issues, anything like that, please consult a professional. I am not a professional. Um, yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a like. If you enjoyed watching it, enjoyed hearing my story, please subscribe to see more videos about my guinea pigs. Hopefully not videos like this, not videos about their health issues, hopefully more fun videos. Uh, please subscribe to see more of that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. So as I was editing this video the next morning, I woke up and discovered that Marshmallow had a squinty eye. And I looked and I literally pulled a piece of hay straight out of her eye. So I take it back. Um, I guess I just had another health issue um, back to back. But good news is I already have Peanuts medication. So I'm just going to use the drops and the ointment that I've been using for her and use them for marshmallow for a little bit. And hopefully since 
I caught it early and I have the right kind of drops, I can make it go away uh, in a shorter period of time than it took peanuts to go away. But yeah, anyway, now I have two guinea pigs who need eye drops. So that's a little crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching. Bye again.